in the equation above, what is the value of k? The College Board has smartly decided to not make their answers integers, otherwise you could just easily plug this in for k and sidestep all the work. And if you wanted to plug in, I think you'd find that it would be a nightmare. So instead we have to do this the straightforward way of trying to solve for k. So let's write our equation out here. We could either multiply both sides by some common multiple, like 54 perhaps, or we can cross multiply. And I'm going to do the cross multiply method just because I think it's a little bit easier. So uh, 9 times this stuff. So 9 times 5 will be 45 times k plus 2 minus 9 times 7 is 63. So by the way, just as a side note, you got to know your times tables here. Uh, if you don't know your times tables, you're not going to have a calculator on hand to help you. 6 times 13 is 78 minus 6 times 4 minus k. Be very careful with distributing your six your numbers correctly, 6 and 9. Let's distribute this. We get 45k plus 90 minus 63 equals 78 minus 24 plus 6k. Be careful about your signs. So let's combine like terms here. Let's get all the k's together. So we're going to throw the 6k on this side. So subtract 6k from both sides. We're going to get 39k. 90 minus 63 is 27. And this equals 78 minus 24 equals, wow, 54. A lot of algebra here, or a lot of arithmetic, excuse me. So 39k plus well, equals 54 minus 27 is 27. So we get k equals 27 over 39. Doesn't match any of these. Let's see if we can take out a common factor here. Let's divide by 3 over 3, right? Each of these have a 3 in common. So we'll cancel out a 3. We get 9 over 13. And that is choice B. And that's the answer. I realized after further review, it would have been much easier to distribute these terms first and then cross multiply. So let me actually show you that before I talk some analysis here. And you'll see it's much easier. So 5 times k plus 2 is the same thing as 5k plus 10 minus 7 all over 6. And this equals 13 minus 4 minus k. So 13 minus 4 is 9. And then minus minus k is just positive k. So 9 plus k over 9. And this is going to be much easier to cross multiply because this just becomes 5k plus 3 over 6. 9k plus 9. Now we'll cross multiply. We get 45k plus 27 equals 54 plus 6k. Exactly the same place we were before. We'll get the same answer. So actually that was easier, I think, than the way I presented it. So side note. But anyway, uh, analysis. So this question is kind of a straightforward algebra question. Now, you wouldn't see this that much on the on the old SAT. If you did, it was kind of easier algebra than this. You were never really in a situation on that test where you'd have to do a lot of work, like a lot of computation. Now, even with the short method, there's a bit more computation than the typical old SAT question. And again, as I mentioned earlier, you can't plug in because it's just going to be a nightmare to deal with those fractions. So this is all about your algebra skills. If your algebra skills are strong, you'll have no problem with this. If there's flaws in your algebra skills, if you forget to distribute, if you, if you add wrong, subtract wrong, whatever it might be, then you'll have a lot of problems with this. So it goes without saying your algebra skills are key, but I think they're going to test your algebra skills on this version of the SAT much more directly.